The truth about the 10.1.5 meta is that it's broken. And today we're going to look at all the classes in all of the logs and analyze each and every one, including the newest addition to the roster. Because, wait a minute, the fuck is my augmentation evoker at? Hey! Hey, give me those buffs, boy! I want to play Devastation, man. Shut up! You want to play this? Come and tell the people why you fucked up the meta for everyone. Frost DK, it's first on the list. We have the DK brothers here. So uh, starting it off with Frost in uh, alphabetical order, we can clearly see Frost DK is clearing 26s. It's been really good, surprisingly. Yes, it's, it's, I mean, it's not like the top melees you would pick for M+, but it's doing great. Um, you've seen its brother doing great in the raid. We're gonna get to it uh, in shor <laughs> shortly. But I would say, you know, it has good damage, good utility kit. It's, it's a DK uh, after all. It, it works it, decently with augmentation too. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, the, that's thing. the thing. The, the theme. That's the ethics. Of yeah. This if you're season. wondering what's the truth about the Temple Y5 meta, well, you're gonna take hints here and there. Uh, augmentation evokers, shadow priests, and all of that. But let's just rank Frost DK, putting it into I would say B, B tier. It's, it's good. A good spec. It's good. Unlike Unholy Decay, which we know it's uh, ridiculous because you know, Bicep Pump made this like a crazy <laughs> that was clip. 700 with, uh, overall damage it, on a boss, that's. Uh, yeah, crazy. yeah. But, well, it's when you have uh, 20 uh, augmentation evokers, things tend to happen <laughs> like that. Um, not the case in Mythic Plus. It doesn't Meta. seem so, no. Uh, yeah, it didn't really like change its course. I would, I would, I would be surprised to see how this would work with like one augmentation evoker from Unholy Decay. Um, from what we've seen on the logs, like we we see Lion like Holy do a maximum of 24 keys. The damage is there, don't get me wrong. It's yeah. really, really good. But uh, we've seen a lot more logs and a lot more bigger, a lot more bigger. I think it started to trail behind Frost Decay for a while now, and now it's just culminating severely behind yeah. Frost Decay. And considering that Frost kind of likes augmentation more than Unholy does. It's uh, uh it's we'll, we'll pull it, we'll put it in uh, nah. it's, uh, it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely what you would expect to see from Unholy when thinking about what it does now in the raid with 20 augmentation evokers. Yeah, Havoc Demon Hunter, solid spec, solid melee spec for a lot of the, the, the comps we've, we've checked out on the logs. Obviously, it brings Chaos Brand, and you're gonna see multiple it's numbers. You want those this. casters, you know, yeah, you know, you, those mages you want, that were buffed. You want some casters in there, uh, to, to get their thing. But speaking of Havoc uh, specifically, you can definitely see it clears like 26s all across the board. Uh, the damage is decent, but not mm. something spectacular. It, it didn't essentially evolve since last time we checked it, and I think last time we had it around S tier-ish, if I recall. And because everybody else seemed to say, well, I want to do more damage, and Havoc says, like, nah, I'm fine right here. It's yeah. around B tier, unfortunately. It dropped. It dropped a lot. It, it will, it's probably next on the uh, chopping block for yeah. some buffs. A, a, a lot of other melees are more favorable for the Very augmentation sh. evokers, obviously, because this is what's breaking the meta, guys. Uh, th this is the truth, okay? <laughs> Havoc is not breaking uh, the meta. And, and listen, one of those specs who benefits greatly is Boomkin, the oh, balance it's druid. It's because uh, we already knew Boomkins were doing pretty great in Mythic Plus this season. You can look sure. at the logs right now, you're, you're looking at like 28 keys already. So as opposed to Unholy DK, which like 24s, this is a big jump. So it's a Lots big, of big logs. increase. Balance Druid is no stranger to being one of the top casters in the dungeons. It's not the top, it's still one of the best in the game, period. It has Giga Damage, Giga Utility, it's a Druid, it can interact with the affix is really nice, but... It doesn't benefit from augmentation as much as other specs and you will think, but why does that matter? Well, you will see. Uh, well, listen, we will just rank it into A tier. I think it's well deserved. There it's not S tier. Yes, it does have its benefits from augmentation, but there's other specs coming up that will uh, greatly uh, benefit from augmentation. Not Feral <laughs> Druid. <laughs> not, not, not as much, no. Feral, but, listen, Feral but Druid still. Is, is good, okay? Feral Druid, like since Dragonflight started, we knew its AoE kit was amazing. It still is, it, it like does crazy good damage it's just not the most preferred melee in specific cons because obviously you're gonna have a lot of like um prefer preferential specs that uh, i mean go it, it for competes directly with boomkin first of all and it yeah. competes directly with other specs however with that aside it's still not doing that that bad if you really really look at the top melee specs in the game feral has kind of climbed a little bit in uh, relative to to its competitors it's B tier, it's good. It's, it's better yeah, than Frosty I think, K. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, so far we're gonna put it in front of the the B tier 
but there's still a lot more melees to, to check out and this is going to become way more clear as we get to the end. Now, Devastation Evoker has an interesting story in here. A very here. interesting story. Everybody's <laughs> curious about where are the Devastation uh, uh, Evokers. Where are they? Where you are they? You cannot see them anymore, man. What the fuck? It's, it's like, um, like three logs everywhere. It's like, where, where, <laughs> what happened? What, what happened? It's, it's, it's a weird situation where prior to the patch, Devastation was doing really good, like 26 keys and, and higher and what they were fine. But now everybody swapped to augmentation because they want to, because it's clearly, clearly better. Yeah, you need augmentation to push the highest keys. That's one thing. But second, a lot of this is also due to fun. It's a fun spec. It's not, yeah. not only like numbers requires, meta comp required. So uh, Devastation really dropped in the logs. Uh, well, just I mean, it's, it's a similar situation with uh, with Havoc is doing 26s. It yeah. didn't really improve. It didn't but get nerfed. Prior to Augmentation Evoker getting out, we've seen a lot more Devastation upper in the upper ranks and stuff. But yeah, well, yeah. what are you going to do? All right. Speaking of consistency, <sighs> Beast Mastery Hunter is next. Um, 26 keys, no, 25, some 26s. Some people, they're probably going to push 26s more by the time you're watching this yeah, video. Yeah, but we're... they didn't, again, I think B tier is a case of like things didn't really change that much. It's consistent. It didn't really have any buffs or any nerfs whatsoever. It probably could use some changes, but we're going to talk about that some other time. It's yeah. good. It's uh, a good spec. It's a good spec, and uh, out of the uh, the three hundred specs, it's one of the uh, one of the more favorable for uh, augmentation sure. evokers. Uh, but there's also survival. I wonder there. if the next one is uh, more or less favorable. Uh, than uh, uh, well, uh, this is the thing. Um, Marksmanship Hunter has this interesting, um, I would say, story progression in a patch where uh, you see it doing great at the beginning, then it's slowly falling off. Is it is, because... It's so weird, man, because they did buff its single target, which was a problem last patch, but it didn't seem to be pushing the spec because there are specs that do just really good single target and all very poor AoE that are higher than Marksmanship. But Marksmanship kind of retained it's a little bit of a meh situation. It has it BM Hunter give uh, comes with a more complete kit because you have access to the utility of the pets, where Marksmanship does not. Everything else that uh Marksmanship brings, BM brings as well. So there's no real reason, especially if the damage is slightly lower than what BMs can do. Yeah, this is reflected in the logs as well, guys. Uh you can see like uh 24 keys, uh, the majority some 25s some uh here and there. So by one yeah. or two people, something like that. Uh yeah, but uh survival hunter on the other hand is clearly the best hunter spec in 10.1.5 right yeah. now. Yeah. Obviously, it's also like the biggest contender out of the three uh, hunter specs to, to benefit from augmentation of vocals. It's sure. clearing consistently 26 keys, the damage is really, really good. However, you know, Flame had its problems with survival and we still do believe... That's mostly design. I mean, that, yeah. at the end of the day, when it comes to clearing keys, that doesn't matter because the only, only thing that matters is damage. And damage is good. It's probably better than most DPS nice. specs in the game. And if people like that, then... Play, play your trashy survival. Yeah, that's no, no, fine, man. It's not trashy. It's it's good. It's, I would say it's going to maintain the, the lead here for... <laughs> for sure. Uh, the, for for the a while, here. anyway. Yeah. Arcane Mages, which have uh, been uh, reworked, backed up with Fire and Frost. Yeah. Now, the Mage... Better. The mage class overall is one of the greatest beneficiaries of Augmentation of Volker. Sure. Now, it all boils down to how much the specs get preferred in this. Augmentation is um, <laughs> influencing the, the presence of these specs because I would say a lot of like former main arcanes have switched to some other mage spec. Guess which I one? Don't, I don't know which one. <laughs> Bo boggles the mind. But Arcane is definitely doing really well. It's it definitely good. seems, even though it's a little bit lower ranked uh, compared to the rest of the specs here, it's doing really well with an augmentation in its team. It's still a mage spec. It's um, obviously people still need to get into the habit of, you know, shooting out their, their arcane orbs, which is so much more fun now. <laughs> It but is, it, it is, probably it still has underlying issues that haven't been fixed yet. Yeah, I, I would put it like behind Devastation here. Sure. It's looking, I don't know, even even behind. It's yeah. around there. It's it's, it's uh, all the same. That zone over there it's is like the, the decent, the safe spec. Uh, now, uh, the, the shock of every uh, wall player in the universe, the Fire Mage so Ranking. Here, man. Yeah, it is. This is the thing, guys. Uh, if you wonder what spec <laughs> is going to be the, the main content the main beneficiary of augmentation and pi and chaos brand <laughs> dude i can already hear all the nerds going on it's like oh my god fire is back again oh uh, we had fire clearing the meters all the time listen fire is good right it did get nerfed though so and i actually don't know if the nerfs are actually implemented in the meta we, because we looked at some data but yeah they're, they're not all there so we're basically seeing here the biggest data without the nerfs okay I don't know how much this will change the actual rankings, but Fire Mages are doing giga 
damage in they definitely, I think they took Boomkin's place in the top teams yes. when you look at uh, yeah, what yeah. people are clearing. That's a hundred percent. Now, the, obviously, the Fire Mage rework also happened. It enabled a, a, a lot more good things for, for you know, removal of the, the Rune of Power and all of those shenanigans. It's really, really good. And the damage we've seen locks with like 400k or something ridiculous. Like. <laughs> yes, it's, it's out of this world. Uh, Frost the Mage Frost also Mage. Was, was a very big surprise because... It's climbing, it, man. It's rising. Yeah, yeah like 90% of uh, the w the data that we have on it and people are playing it. They're average. But there's a couple that have been pushing really high. Obviously not as high as Fire Mage, but surprisingly high enough to what we were used to seeing from Frost Mage. Not to mention Glacial Spike is back and that's pretty beefy and juicy. And it likes augmentation, and what more can you ask from a spec? Yeah, and it's clearing 26s, 27s, it's doing like really, really good damage. So uh, I guess this is the time where we placed Frost Mage into A tier. It's, it's, it's close. Well it's, deserved. It's been a while, it's been a while. Well deserved. Windwalker Monks. Now, Windwalker Monks, uh, no matter how much you buff their single target, they're still going to be enough. shit and tyrannical. I don't know how that happens. Yeah, it always happens like that. They, they are a very, very potent AoE spec. Um, sure. much more reliant on, you know, physical damage and stuff. So that would mean like kind of indirectly that augmentation evokers will not look at them to be like they're, uh, they're simping for them that much. But re regardless. That could be a good thing, right? Because people might feel like they cannot play Windwalker unless they have an augmentation, but that's not clearly not the case. Yeah. Obviously, it's good. Everybody can benefit from it. But Windwalker is very stagnant. It's you know, part of the B tier good specs where everybody's just the yeah, same, more yeah. or less the same. I would put... I'll put it here. Like, in front of the kitty. Yeah, in front of the kitty, like behind the uh, survival. Red Paladins. Uh, Red Paladins are uh, traditionally, from since the rework, doing very, very good in Mythic Plus. Uh, they were at some point S tier. They dropped because some changes. Uh, Red Paladins is one of the melees that could be uh, uh, considered for an augmentation of both Evoker, mainly because it has a lot more magic damage and yeah. it has crit. Uh, it favors a lot of crits, so you can definitely see some comps preferring Red Paladins per in the melee per department. Science, per science, whatever yes. that spell is called. But you see like 27s uh, all it's across good. the board, so uh, much better than I would say like Feral and Havocs and, and Holy Decays and stuff. So it could be a it's, it's definitely an A tier. I don't know if it does the same damage as a Boomkin and Frost Mage, probably not, but its utility is probably more favored in this season. It has really good toolkit to help the party out, and yeah. I think that's probably a better way to sell a spec than just raw numbers that can always be tuned and yeah, nerfed. Yeah, and it doesn't die anymore. That's very <laughs> That's important. a blast okay. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now uh, let's talk about the uh, artist formerly known as I Was Here First, uh, <laughs> Shadow Priest, you know, because uh, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice you team you're gonna have like on on the spectrum of the highest pushers, the, the, the comps that push it towards the limits. Shadow Priest, obviously, it was doing good prior to Augmentation Evoker coming along, uh, along, 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 along. Um, obviously, it's, you know, propping Fire Mage up together with somebody else. And it's doing 29s. It's a really good spec. It still has really good kit. Yeah. Kit. <laughs> it has does, kids as well, probably, does because good, does good. Shadow Priest <laughs> is a family spec. After all, you have a lot of shadows and the old gods and you know uh, oh, and with all, and with all the changes in its rework this season it did really well to have a more reliable damage profile and even though it was good last season now it's consistently as year as post boom kind of dropped. I'm putting yeah, it's, it's 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 right, uh, right yeah, look, behind are you farming. seeing are you seeing what the, the main comps are running right now you think is it's forming it's it, it's close okay it it's very close um assassination rogue well i will tell you they're not part of the main team pushing <laughs> the highest keys <laughs> not uh, only that, it's, yeah, uh... we we. I mean, it's no surprise we've addressed assassination rogues in all of our Tillis videos and the exclusive we addressed podcasts. it more than the devs have. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh. But no, no, no! Come on, we have confirmation that ten one seven will finally bring the rogue reworks, and we're dying to see what they're gonna do to all of the specs, but specifically for assassinations <laughs> A O E, which is shit, and it will be in D tier, and again. It's not subjective. This is what we've seen in the logs. The damage... I mean, it's, it's doing 23s, 24s. It's not that it's bad. Obviously, you can still perform. It might exhaust you to no end to do so, yeah. but it's yeah, possible. No, it's the, in terms of like the highest keys and comparing its numbers to like other melees on the spectrum, there's really no competition. So sorry, because you do have on the same spectrum the Outlaw Rogue, which will do a lot better at uh, a lot more efficiently and I would dare to say a lot more smoother than an assassination rogue. 
Um, this is a spec that will will have its consistency all throughout. Although, yeah, we've seen it be an S2 last season and then falling a little bit. It's but been dropping a little bit. I don't think it fair, necessarily dropped. It didn't get nerfed or anything. No, no, it's it didn't just, get nerfed. Doesn't it just scale that well, maybe? Uh, I wouldn't go as far to, to say this. Obviously, there's other specs that took the cake further and further, okay? I mean, last season, you wouldn't see Red Paladins being, you know, above like something like B tier. Uh, Sub Rogue made its... Uh, debut, let's say, in the in the Mythic Plus season of the first Mythic Plus season, Dragonflight a little bit later on as people got tier yeah, sets yeah. and gear and stuff. So Outlaw was kind of doing its whole thing over there. Um, but in terms of like the keys that is clearance, 25s and some 26s, um, this is because the number of logs are not there uh, when you compare it to like subtlety not, rogues. Not, not yet. They're definitely favoring subtlety and uh, noticeably Outlaws behind Feral in terms of overall damage, which was definitely a surprise. Yeah, this this is uh, interesting to see. But again, I think it's also the question of popularity and a lot of like the, the giga chat of Outlaw just moved on to subtlety because subtlety retains a very high position in terms of its rankings it's no surprise top, top melee still yeah yeah it's, it's like yeah it is the top melee it's clearly like 27th as red paladin but it's it's a lot more popular a lot more well it is more useful than the red paladin first of all and it does way more damage than the red paladin not in the sense that i compared one to one but a lot more faster and a lot more on demand uh it has a lot more advantages than the red paladin so you want a a rogue over there Purely because it can do a lot of things, right? So... Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty good. And now that we're talking a lot more about A-tier specs, A-tier specs usually always in this day and age have an augmentation in their group, so it's kind of hard to judge where we can look at B-tier specs and see them without playing augmentation in their groups and kind of give a sense of where they are. It's kind of hard to tell that for A-tier specs, which pretty much always run an augmentation nowadays. All right. What about Elemental Shaman? Is Elemental Shaman being like the, 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 the lovebird of augmentation or not? It didn't, uh, it didn't blow anybody's mind out of the water. It's still consistent. It does 26s. It's pretty good. It has good damage. It's just not particularly outstanding. It is one of the more demanding specs to play, so it does have a barrier of entry, which kind of probably reduces its popularity in the higher end of things. Well, and, uh, you have enhancement to, to fight off yeah, also. Yeah, so, so we're going to we'll, get to it in a second. I'll place an elemental into B tier. Uh, once again, B tier is really, really good. It's like when We're talking about breaking the meta. You're going to see the specs that are being favored by augmentation evokers and PIs and chaos brands. Mm. That's what breaks the meta. That's the truth. Break it. Uh, enhancement Shaman. Enhancement Shaman enhancement is Shaman. Uh, statistically right now the best melee spec in the game. I don't know for Shut how up, long. Man. No, it's Red I think, Paladin. I think it's no. all, the only melee spec that's, that's doing 28 as of this moment. There, everybody, Sub and Red are probably on their way, but right now Enhance is slightly better than last time we checked it, which is more than we can say for the majority of the melee specs right now, which have been very consistent. It's keeping up with subtlety, maybe even a little bit better. I'd put it in scaling. front. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's the best. Okay, I would put it in front of Boomkin, but I've seen Boomkin's uh, cleaning a lot more keys consistently oh, yeah. for 20 I don't think it's and, a competition. No. Yeah, and, but Enhancement is really, really good. Yeah. Uh, all all of the, the, the changes it went through, I know a lot of people didn't like some of them, but in terms of like this Mythic Plus performance, it's still up there. So when you're looking at like, sure. like the A tier, it's well deserved. Affliction Warlock, on the other hand, could be shit. Probably is shit. It had some competition with Destro and Demo, <laughs> but uh, again... It's actually doing a lot better uh, than last time with, with yeah, all the changes yeah. in the Where's nerfs. the, the, where's the uh, <laughs> even might from augmentation to focus on Affliction, yo? <laughs> Listen, there's no where, uh, once, once upon a time it was holding hands with Assassination. It has now abandoned Assassination yeah. and climbed a couple of tiers the higher. Traitor. It's not where people would have hoped it would be. Obviously, the changes to, um, um, I think it was Death Blossom or something, the talents that made it so that AoE doesn't require as much of a ramp time, even in single target, it's definitely better, works in its favor. It's fun to play, but it probably needs a little bit more to keep up with the top specs. It climbed about two tiers, so okay. that's pretty uh, good. Put it in into a B tier, put but it. somewhere somewhere at the, the <laughs> end tail over here. Uh, because, uh, well, we have Demonology Warlock, which, okay, it's not extraordinary, uh, mm. but it is much better than a couple of these specs on the B tier spectrum. Slightly, but I think one of the strong points for Demonology is that it still has amazing single target damage. It probably has the best single target damage in its tier, but its AoE falls a little bit behind. Doesn't feel like uh, it benefits from the new meta, the new Mythic Plus affix called Augmentation. 
but it's it's solid, right? It's consistently across the board, really good in all situations. Yeah, I guess we can place it in front of Devastation. Because um, you, yeah. you do see it a lot more present in Tyrannical Weeks, right? Due to its yeah, single it's, target. So you definitely feel the value yeah, of that single target. I would say better than, than Devastation uh, sure. for sure, okay? Uh, Destro Lock. Now, Destro Lock, I would uh, go as far as say even better. We've seen like consistently 26. Um, there was a situation there where we've seen 28s clear before the, yeah, the patch. It's, it's probably, I, I feel like this is just, everybody just favors Fire Mages nowadays. And it was clearing 28s with the assistance of most likely Power Infusion. What? It Could did. Be. It did receive some talent changes, and I'm I'm thinking that people are still trying out the new builds, trying to get you know the crashing chaos and all the things working into the destruction. It doesn't. It, it still requires the the stupid amount of uh, ramp, which is kind of offset by the fact that augmentation brings more upfront burst. I hit the table. Upfront burst to uh, to fights, and you don't really need that big ramp when you have specs like fire mage, and that's probably why. It's taking a dip in popularity, but likely it's potentially still there. It's potentially it's still there, and we're potentially gonna place it here after Feral Druid. It's a good place. Again, all of the specs in B tier are doing just fine. Don't yeah. worry about it, okay? Arms Warrior. Now, Arms Warrior, I uh, would say um, 26 consistently. Very good DPS spec all across the board. I I can see it very useful with spell reflex and stuff. Oh, I um, think that's that's part of the reason why arms are because if you look at the performance, arms is trailing a little bit behind everybody. It's, it's kind of a situation. Good, man. It's still middle of the pack. It's, I've seen the numbers. It's, it's good. It's it's kind of like the red butt of the B tiers, right? Where it has a good kit that it can bring to a time, but it's just not top in the meters in their teams. All right. Yeah. So so is it safe to like place it into the B tier? <coughs> yeah, yes, no, yes. it is. It is. I think it's twenty six. I mean, you can twenty six is. Uh, the results. I'm gonna place it here between elemental and havoc. Make uh, a sandwich there. Yeah, this like this this meat of B tiers over here is just you know <laughs> the, the pick whatever we, we're a, fine with a, it. It's a fat meat. Okay, a similar similar story. Not not as much. Fury Warriors are doing really really good. Uh, yeah. It was like like a clear road for them, even like before augmentations uh, came along. And I would say Fury is not like being looked at by augmentations like oh I'm going to buff him consistently. It's all but right. Even holding on its own, 27 key 27 plus keys cleared all the time. Um, damage is very 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 strong. I'm not sure if it's above red. No, I no, no. Cannot... I think uh, Fury is definitely uh, definitely an A tier. It's very close to survival. So they're like kind of the break points ah, between yeah, A and B tier. Uh, it doesn't hold a candle yet to red, but we will see how it progresses uh, into the future. Still really good spec. Yeah, okay. Now, no, break in, breaking we the can... meta. No, no, no. We, we still oh, have no. one more. No, <laughs> no, we got here. Why? The truth about the 10.1.5 <sighs> meta, the, the bricks. The breaks, the destruction, the, the, the gas, devastation. The gas pedal the that's held far so down you get cramps in your legs. That is augmentation, which because of this spec, everything changed. Because of this specs, the logs have changed, the DPS meters have changed, and everybody just plays augmentation. It is crazy. This is the thing. It, if you look at its performance on logs, it's okay, but... Its the, individual numbers are yeah, whatever, They're right? okay, but... This is its main power because I think this is what, what Blizzard intended. Obviously, it's like buff some specs. Now, yeah. we expected that some specs would benefit this uh, oh. much more than others. We, and we, we saw it coming. We, we, if, we place it, <laughs> if we place augmentation in it, which we seen, will. I haven't seen a more consistent top 20 team than what we have right now with augmentation, fire, and shadow consistently. Look at the logs. Only DPS. Look specs. at the logs. It's ridiculous. It is, it's crazy. The synergy is crazy. Uh, listen, it's fun to see this, and I don't particularly mind it. Obviously, it skews very heavily where before we would have had four five maybe six s tier specs that was just these three is this it that's it this is this is it but this is <laughs> this is this is all about the meta if you want to understand which is the most fun melee to play just make sure to check out this video here on top of us it's uh not really looking at all everything that logs and all that but also addressing basically what's fun about a spec so check it out go watch it right now